Yo, what's good, everybody? It's Malcolm Crawford, and today we're here to talk about some of Ben 10's most garbage, trash, useless aliens. Let's get into it. First and foremost, can y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me? I would greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't already, like, share, comment, and do all that good stuff if you think somebody else will enjoy this video. Now let's get into it. For those who don't know already, I have a podcast. It's called The Storm Podcast. And recently we made a clip in which we each picked three aliens that we would put in our Omnitrix if we were building one. That video got a little bit of traction on TikTok. It did pretty well on YouTube. And that got me thinking, we talked about some of his most lit aliens. What are some of his most garbage ones? Because let's be honest, Ben 10 is probably one of the most powerful characters in fiction he just has so much versatility and can do so many things but in having so many aliens in that damn omnitrix he got some garbage ass shit in there too he got some terrible ones so that's what i'm here to talk about i do have to give a disclaimer y'all gonna kill me for this i'm a huge big ben 10 fan growing up i loved it watched all of ben 10 all of alien force all of ultimate alien however I did stop at Omniverse. It looked like it was going to be garbage. So I just stopped and didn't watch it. However, I've talked to people recently and they said Omniverse is fire. So it sounds like I need to check in on it. So I am going to be doing some of the aliens from Omniverse, even though I've never watched it. I know a lot of those aliens. Um, but let me know in the comments if I need to watch Omniverse. Like I feel like I might need to put that on my roster to watch it. Y'all have said it's good. It just looked it looked like a reboot. I didn't know it was continuing on, so I gave it up, but I'm gonna have to go ahead and check that out if y'all say it's fire. And even though I might check out Omniverse, I'm not checking out that new reboot that they have on Cartoon Network. That shit looks terrible and I'm not watching that. But Omniverse, I'll check that out. First up on the list of Ben 10's most garbage aliens, y'all knew I had to talk about him. Rip Jaws is absolutely fucking garbage. Look, I get it. In the original 10, Ben needed an alien that can go in the water. Cool. But who the fuck cares, bro? Like, yeah, sure. Rip Jaws can go in the water. He can swim. Cool. But his weaknesses far outweigh his positives. If we're looking at his entire Omnitrix, Ben has so many more aliens that can do better in the water. It's ridiculous. Bro has Amphibian, uh, Jet Ray, um water hazard no water it's not called water hazard what's that one called yeah yeah it is water hazard yeah he got so many different aliens that can go in the water and are better in the water why the fuck would i ever want rip jaws rip jaws has zero drip that shit is ugly as fuck and it's useless outside of the water like that's what that's what bothers me the most about rip jaws because in the water sure it's kind of useful, I guess. He still has better ones. But he can only use it in the water. If it's outside of water for a long period of time, he gets dehydrated and can't do shit. He's terrible against like heat or fire-based opponents. He's just terrible. And then I've heard the argument that, yeah, rip jaws, his jaws and claws can rip through steel. Why would I give a fuck about that? Like, let's be real. Who gives a fuck? Almost all of Ben 10's aliens can rip through steel. That shit is not impressive at all. I'm sorry, Rip Jaws fans. I know some of y'all really like him. That shit is terrible. He going on the list. Fuck Rip Jaws. My next alien. Even as a kid, I always thought this shit was garbage. Stinkfly is useless as fuck. Let's just keep it a stack. That shit is hot garbage. Now, once again, I do understand it was in the original 10, so it was his only flying alien. So... I can give it some grace on that. But outside of that, it's really not useful at all. Stinkfly is really annoying as fuck. First, its wings are mad fragile. Almost every time he uses Stinkfly, somebody fucks his wings up and then it's over with. And the biggest problem, two, two big problems. But the biggest problem with Stinkfly is it fucking stinks. So, which makes it incredibly hard to be a hero and to save people when nobody wants to be saved by you because you smell fucking terrible. And yeah, don't get me wrong. Stingfly is kind of good for capturing because it can shoot out the little sticky stuff out of his eyes. But that's really about like it flies and it can capture. But Ben has aliens that do that better. Now, why would I ever pick Stingfly if I have Jet Ray as an option? I just don't get it. Like, it's just a useless alien. Some of these aliens just did not age well as they added better ones. But all the other 10 are still useful in every situation. 
Ben has stronger aliens than forearms, but forearms still works. He has more durable aliens than Diamond Head, but Diamond Head's still lit. Stinkfly and Rip Jaws, they just they're su- they suck, and there's no reason to ever pick them. <sighs> This next one's very disappointing. This next one actually hurts my soul a lot. I'm a Ben 10 fan at heart, which means I've been watching for a really long time. Like, I was watching Ben 10 as it was coming out, you know? So one of my favorite aliens from Alien Force, and still one of my favorite aliens overall, is Goop. But if I'm being objective, Goop fucking sucks. And I hate that it sucks. Because Goop had the potential to be so cool. Goop got so many cool powers. So he can shapeshift. He can like move through areas. He's consistently like wrapping people around, wrapping them up. He has acid. He has sticky Goop. Bro should be the GOAT. But the reason that Goop is on the list of most useless aliens is because they had dumb ass, stupid ass flying saucer around his head. I have never once seeing goop get summoned in a fight and somebody didn't just smack that shit out of there they just smack that shit out the way and then goop is completely useless it literally just sits on a puddle and he can't do anything until somebody else goes and gets the little damn saucer and brings it back without that bro is just useless and that's like it sucks because he has so much potential like let's be real goop got drip no pun intended goop is lit like he looks cool as fuck but he, he's just too easy to beat. He's too beatable. Now, in a match where maybe you have some distance, Goop might be able to make some noise. You know, he might be able to, you know, stick people, stretch, all that. But the saucer can't go more than two feet away from him without him falling into a puddle. Another reason I think Goop would be good would be to do shit like go under doors, you know, and like get into tough to reach places. But the saucer still has to be able to fit. That's the biggest problem. I wonder if Goop took the saucer and like put it in his chest, that might help him in his fighting. He still wouldn't be able to like slide in places, but that might be able to like, you know, boost his fighting power, I think. Right. I think so. I don't know. Another alien that Ben has that sucks. And I think I'm I think everybody's going to agree with me on this one. Astrodactyl. That's is that not just Jet Ray, too? Like Astrodactyl can do everything Jet Ray can do, but worse i don't know why i would pick him over jet ray he can fly but only with his jet pack granted i told y'all i haven't watched omniverse but i've seen astrodactyl twice before in two different clips in both times they just fucked his backpack up and then he was useless he can't fly without it so i don't really understand why i would ever pick astrodactyl over picking Jet Ray. And y'all know me. I hate Jet Ray. I think Jet Ray fucking, I think Jet Ray's a loser. But he is Ben's fastest alien and he can fly and he can shoot beams. And is that not what Astrodactyl does? I don't get why I would ever do that. Another alien who I just think is a cool alien, but I don't know why I would ever want them is Fast Track. Fast Track is just Diet Accelerate. Ben has a lot of aliens that are like some of his aliens, but worse. Fast Track, Diet Accelerate. Astrodactyl, Diet Jet Ray. Jerry Rig is so much of a worse version than Upgrade. Like, Jerry Rig will take shit apart and build something new and make it into something cool. That's what the fuck Upgrade does. And Upgrade shit is so much cooler. Fuck Jerry Rig. Why would I ever want that? Like, don't get me wrong. Ben got some cool-ass aliens. He got some dope-ass aliens. But the ones that suck are just... They just really suck. I think the creators, there were some of those they just weren't thinking through when they were making them, you know? I think that some of those aliens might be cool if we didn't already have the cool version of them. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what y'all think about my picks. What are some of the worst aliens that y'all seen? What are some of the aliens that Ben has that are completely useless and you agree with? Let me know. I would love to know how you guys feel about that because I feel very passionately about how garbage some of these aliens are. Also, let me know what kind of videos you guys would like to see next for me. I love making these videos. As y'all see, I have a new setup, so I'm going to be recording a lot more. Uh, I really like making content and I think it's a lot of fun. So let me know what else y'all want to see. Thank y'all so much for watching.
if you have not already subscribed, what you doing? You watched the whole video, you clearly enjoyed it. Go ahead, hit that sub button. If you haven't left a like, go ahead, leave me a like. Also, if you want to share this with one of your friends who you think would enjoy it, please do that. It really helps for the growth. Um, it really helps when you guys like stuff. Your friends probably like the same stuff you like, so you should send it to your homies. So now y'all have something to talk about, and you can say, yo, I was the one who put you on. So yeah, please go ahead, share this. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Appreciate y'all for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. We out. Peace.